Is it working? Are we, uh, we on? What's happening, fishing friends? Welcome to another episode. Today, I got in the mail the new Bank and Creek kit from over at LureNet. Uh, if you've watched some of my other videos, um, they've had a couple out. Pretty neat little deal because this is, like I said, specific to Bank and Creek, folks. I feel like on YouTube, there's a ton of information, which is very helpful. Don't, don't get me wrong, but geared towards bank anglers, kayak anglers, I feel like the bank angling community gets left out a lot. So I've got this kit, we're gonna unbox it, and if you stay till the end, there might be a little surprise. So enough yapping, let's take a look. All right, what is the first bait that we've got in here? Okay, so the first one is one that I used to use back in the day, the Norman Lures crankbaits. I feel like these are one that uh, kind of fell off a little bit. You know, they're not the, the, you know, the cool, crazy design packaging and stuff, but man, Norman's been around for a long time, and this one is a good one, the Speed and Junior. Through this a little bit last year, they had some that came out four to six feet, uh, perfect for bank anglers. You know, a lot of uh, bank guys don't like to throw crankbaits, you know, treble hooks. The, the places they fish, they feel are too shallow. It's going to get snagged and everything. But, you know, a little square bill like this, uh, this one, you know, isn't necessarily a square bill. It's kind of a, well, there you can see, kind of a modified rounded. These are perfect for coming through standing timber, you know, sparse wood. Once you get in the real brushy stuff, uh, you know, it can be the real fingery, like gnarly stuff. These can kind of be tough to get through there. But from the bank, always remember when you cast out, make sure you've got a path to get it back. I know some of the stuff you can't see, but that's one thing that I always urge. And then on the back of these, I do like that the Norman Box uh, crankbait thing here does have a thing to tune it. And that's something that if your crankbait is running one way or the other, if it runs left, you bend it right. So you bend it the way you want it to go. If it's running this way, bend it that way and it'll go this way. So good looking color there, do they say? Orange belly crop, perfect spring color here. Some green and orange, I like that one a lot. Okay, speaking of spring, another good option here. This is the Smithwick Rattlin Rogue. Now this is, you can see only dives a couple feet, third of an ounce. And as it says there, floating. Perfect for a bank angler. Are you kidding me? Especially around spawn, uh, post spawn, a floating rattle or a rattle trap, a floating jerk bait like this is perfect. And you can see what the color that is? That is bluegill, and that looks sick as heck. I mean, that looks just like a bluegill profile. Um, and once those bass are done spawning, of course, the bluegill come up. Perfect time for bass to get revenge, uh, get their spawn on, and feed up on some of those shallow gill. With this only going a couple feet down, Perfect. You can jerk it down to some of that real shallow grass, let it slowly float up, rinse and repeat on the edges of grass. Um, you know, last year I, I had a lot of success working jerk baits like that. Great way to catch fish if you've never tried it. Now I haven't put a ton of work in with the uh, the rogues. Uh, I know you know a lot of the old guys will say that these are still killer. Um, I know there's specific ones out there and such, but this one for bank anglers specifically, um, I think is awesome. Now remember, this is the bank and creek bag, so I'm, I don't do a ton of creek fishing, but something that does work in the creeks, you know, little streams, is a little paddle tail like this. And remember, um, go sign up over there at LureNet, make an account. Uh, I'll leave all that linked below, but a way you can save 15% on this stuff, anything in shop, including the uh, the bait and creek bags, which is pretty cool. I appreciate LureNet doing that. Um, so go over, save one, some money, grab one, but this, uh, is another perfect example of something that catches fish anywhere. A little three inch paddle tail. Y'all saw me use these last year. I like the profile, good compact design. You know, this is something that will go good on the back of a, like a little chatter bait. Um, being three inches like that, it goes awesome on just a little ball head jig. You could do it on the back of an underspin, anything like that. I mean, these are versatile as heck. Get six of them in there, that's a good deal. This is the Sight Minnow, kind of that white with a little bit of glittery clear pearl on the bottom. Okay, one that's really neat, new to Yum this year. Uh, the first time you're seeing it here in the bags for them. This is their Helgramite. Pretty cool little thing. Now, I've thrown Helgramites a couple times. Both times uh, that I've thrown them, I've caught a snapping turtle. So, not the best track record with uh, Helgramite lures. So, pull one out of the package here. They're like, I don't know, two and a half, two point seven five 2.75 inches, just under 3 inches. And this color, they call Copper Creek. You can see their Ned Rig, Split Shot, uh, you know, a bunch of different ways you can use this. But, uh, what I really like about it is... That profile, look at that. It's got all kinds of dangly little deals on it looking like a little Helgramite. They're kind of creepy if you've ever seen them. Dad and I used to, you know, sane for minnows and do that stuff in the creeks. Um, and you'd find one of these and it's like, ooh. Now, I uh, definitely think the Ned Rig will be the best way to fish this for me. And those drop shots, split shots, all kind of other cool stuff. But this is just one of the Z-Man. I think they call it the Ned Locks, EWG, something like that. But it's got the little lead piece here, which is nice. So it helps keep the plastic from sliding down the hook. And that's what it looks like there. You imagine this thing bouncing around in the creeks. Uh, I have no doubt this thing will get bit. Cool looking profile. All those appendages, you know, as it's just sitting there, are going to be kind of moving in the water. A real do nothing bait, but still a bunch of good action, you know, especially in like a, a clear water creek or a little pond or lake. 
good flake coming through it you know dark top this looks like a lot of the you know crawdads and stuff too with that darker back kind of that coppery brown cool lure um i like i'm excited to see what other colors they have i'd like to see like a an okeechobee craw color would work well around here um even like a, a june bug or something like that like a uh june bug top green pumpkin belly i don't know cool little lure comment below let me know what you guys think of this the old helgramite okay we've got another soft plastic in here and i know this thing goes with it so we'll do both of these at once okay the yum dinger uh, a staple in the stick bait arsenal grab these at walmart dirt cheap um this one the, uh, is the five inch which is what i like the most take one of these out of here if you've never seen them one of the things that's kind of unique with um the yum dinger and I'm, I'm sure there's other companies that do this too but once you put the hook on it the hook point will actually rest down there and that little cut uh, of the the stick bait which is pretty neat you know a lot of them are just a regular one like this does it make a huge difference no uh, but it isn't kind of nice to have that hook lined up there you know you're getting it straight and helps keep it weedless down in here this is the june bug red flake now y'all know i am a huge fan of june bug I don't think I've ever thrown a June bug red flake. That's kind of Christmassy. Also in here, they do throw in, which I thought was kind of unique. I have multiple ones of these. Good packaging on it. I have multiple ones of these deals that are metal. This one is floating. That's pretty handy. So if you're walking around with this, you're in your yak, accidentally drop it over the side, by golly, it's going to float. If you've never used one of these, all you do is put the tail end of the bait in there, or the head, I guess it doesn't matter, but put that in there. You take one of these O-rings on the bottom, push it up just like that it snaps on and you've got yourself a little wacky rig of course you can move this down this way use it as a nico rig put your hook on there a little nail weight in the nose of it nico rig that wacky rig it either way good little bait uh, i love the yum dingers they hold up well i don't bust the old pocketbook okay two oh two things in here i forgot about these they had hooks in here so this is the pro x wacky hook size one a little bit larger than i would normally throw but I do like that it's just the regular straight shank if you want to use it for what I do with my stick bait. If you want to use it for a Nico rig, it works awesome for that. Put that in there. I just kind of get a little bit of the plastic in there to kind of help hold it. That's what you're looking at, of course, when you have the uh, the weight in the nose of it bouncing around like that. Fish comes up to grab it and doink. And these are super sticky sharp. You can see there. Good looking hook. Like I said, just a tad larger than I would normally throw. But um, if you've got just a little bit, you know, stiffer setup, not a super soft uh, set up for those little hooks this size actually probably is a little bit better and you could yeah these are pretty tough you could probably get away with throwing one of these on like a medium power bait caster just don't have your uh, your drag crank down throw that baby out of course you could always slide that up a little bit and hit them with the old wacky rig all right last but not least uh, one of my favorite all-time spinner baits on the market specifically even this like this exact one is the war eagle 5 16th finesse spinner bait i don't know what it is about this one I don't know if it's just because I've fished it more, uh, but this one specifically, it's got that little turtle shell back blade, whatever they call it. Awesome little spinnerbait. This is in that coleslaw color. It's got the gold and silver. I personally kind of like when they match it or um, when they don't match when you've got one of each. You know, like I've said before, I'm not like huge into you have to have this color exactly for that. You know, obviously gold does a little bit better in muddy water, dirtier water, silver in cleaner water, but there's all kinds of different things that people tell you, but it's just this profile and I like that it has the two different length skirts. So you can get away with throwing this without a soft plastic on it because that is one drawback to the War Eagles. If you like to put a soft plastic on this, doesn't have a keeper. You can still run it, uh, but once it starts to wear out, you're going to be chasing it off the back of the hook. So one thing I like about these is I do not even worry about putting a plastic on with this other layer of skirting material back here. It acts just like a paddle tail. When you pop this or pulse it, you know, as you're reeling it in and give your rod little twitches, this shorter part up front will kind of flare out and this back part will kind of kick like a tail. Um, if you've never tried one like this, try it in the shallow water. Um, give it some pops as you're bringing it in and you'll see what I'm talking about. But good compact little spinner bait. You know, if you don't want a big, huge, loud, you know, hard thumping spinner bait, this one is perfect for that. A lot of the small ponds and lakes that I fish around here, this has truly been one of my favorites. All right, now do me a favor, comment below and let me know out of all these, what was your favorite? Maybe maybe you're like me and you like the War Eagle. Maybe you like this new little, uh, little Hagromite on a, a Ned Rig or something like that. Kind of an interesting little deal. Maybe you want to try some jerk baits more and this one specifically for a bank angler, I think is perfect. Shallow diving, uh, it's slow floating, so it pops right back up. You can see where it's at. 
Now, the reason I ask you to comment below is because if you want to win this bag, I'm giving it away, and only the uh, the OGs that watch till the end are going to know this. Giving the bag away with all these lures, all you have to do is comment below. I'll pick a random comment uh, and send this out. But pretty cool thing. I appreciate LureNet sending one of these over uh, to check out. A bunch of neat lures in here. I'm actually kind of jealous because I really want to keep that and try that for this spawn. But like I said, giving all these away. So comment below and let me know. Otherwise, it's late. I gotta edit. Thank you all for watching, and until next time. Mm -hmm.